Tonight's Game 1 of the World Series between the Dodgers and Yankees is just one of several major events happening across our area tonight. Get ready. Friday night travel going to be much, much heavier than usual. KTLA 5 Jacqueline Sarkeesian live outside of Crypto.com Arena this morning where the Lakers, they're set to host the Phoenix Suns tonight, one of many events going on across Los Angeles. Good morning to you, Jacqueline. Hi, good morning to both of you. Yes, so we actually moved a little down, Fig. We're just outside of the pantry because Dan Lunsford and I are hungry. No, we're trying to talk to some fans. Not a lot of commotion happening over at Crypto, but you guys said a lot of events taking place this weekend. People are calling it Carmageddon. That's how bad the traffic is expected to get which is unbelievable because we know traffic already terrible in LA. But let's look at this graphic right now, breaking down all the events, all the games, the locations, and the times. First and foremost, we've got game one of the World Series. We know that's set to start at 5.08 tonight. The Lakers game against the Suns happening over at Crypto. The East LA Classic between Roosevelt and Garfield High Schools. That game starts at 7.30 at SoFi. And USC has a game over at the Coliseum. Of course, there are several concerts taking place both tonight and tomorrow night. LA Mayor Karen Bass says this jam-packed schedule is practice for when the city hosts the Olympics four years from now. She also says the city is used to being in the spotlight and we know often holds major events so it is prepared to handle the increase in both travel and tourism. I directed city apartments to take action to prepare to ensure Angelinos are safe Traffic is addressed swiftly. And if you're wondering what exactly does that mean, how is that going to happen? Well, the L.A. Police Department is expected to deploy extra officers and increase its visibility at several of the venues. The fire department will place paramedics and other personnel so that they're ready to go. And the transportation department will position more than 100 white glove officers over at key intersections and venues to help direct traffic. City officials say if you're going to any of this weekend's events, leave early and take public transportation to avoid any and all of it. Well, there's this option too. I'm going to be watching at home. Uh, my couch. Yeah. The couch sounds pretty good. I think we all agree on that. And you guys mentioned earlier, you got the bathroom nearby. You don't have to wait in line for anything, for the food, getting a drink. So that also makes it where you don't have to sit in traffic and deal with the crowds if you're not into the crowds. A lot of fun happening this weekend. Of course, leave early if you're going to any of those events. Go Dodgers. Go Trojans. I hope USC wins the game tonight, but who knows? They seem to be uh, messing up a lot. Back to you guys in the studio.